Hi Commissioner, we're delighted that you've been able to come to Australia and, and visit Australia for you and HCR. And I know our donors uh, will be quite interested in why you have come to Australia at this time. Well, first of all, to say thank you. Uh, we are living in dangerous times, in a dangerous world. Uh, last year we had so many crises from Cote d'Ivoire to the Horn of Africa, Syria, Libya. Uh, more than 800,000 people crossed borders fleeing conflict, fleeing war, and they need help. But thanks to the Australian people, it was possible to increase our programs in many of these situations. And so I think it's high time to come to Australia and to say to the Australians, we are very grateful for your support. Oh, that's great. Hi, Commissioner, and it's, it's a good point. Last year, I think, was extremely challenging for, for all humanitarian agencies, but certainly for, for you and HCR. What do you think are the big challenges for you and HCR over the next 12 months? I think, unfortunately, uh, we are seeing a multiplication of crises. Uh, and the old crises never die. Afghanistan is there. Iraq is there. The Horn of Africa is there. The Democratic Republic of Congo is there with people suffering enormously. And the world uh, is not able now to prevent conflict and to solve uh, uh, the conflict uh, that exists. And so the number of people displaced, the number of people dying, the number of people uh, hungry uh, is unfortunately uh, increasing. And, and I believe 2012 will be even more challenging that, uh, than 2011 was. And so the generosity of the Australian people will be even more important in 2012 than it was last year with a record support to NHGRI's activities. And, and with what, what other donors, or, or not so much donors, but People outside would say, with these millions of refugees on the move or displaced people, how can I, as one person, make, make a difference? What would you say in response to that? I think there are different ways uh, to, to make a difference. One, of course, is to support financially, to share our resources with those that are more in need, to the most vulnerable of the vulnerable in today's world. Um, at the same time, uh, uh, to advocate for the refugee cause, uh, to uh, convince uh, others that uh, Australia is a multicultural society. Australia is a, is a very tolerant society. Australia has a, a very, a very successful resettlement program. Seven hundred fifty thousand people have resettled in Australia mm -hmm. since the Second World War to support this program, to support uh, those uh, communities, those NGOs that in neighbourhoods are helping the refugees to integrate, and also other ways to to make a difference. So I think there are plenty of opportunities for Australians to go on with their very generous support to the refugee cause. Mm. And High Commissioner, you're obviously very passionate ab about the cause and you've had a, a long involvement even prior to you taking up the, the leadership of UNHCR. What motivates you to uh, be so engaged in, 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 in this mission? I think we are all extremely privileged. And the Australians are also privileged. You live in an island continent uh, far from the conflict of this world. Uh, uh, that has, uh, in this difficult uh, financial global crisis, Australia has kept uh, uh, reasonable prosperity. Uh, and that creates to all of us that are so privileged in today's world an enormous responsibility. We need to be able to share, like in the parable of the talents, uh, to share what we have received mm -hmm. and to be able to give our contribution, to give our best to those that unfortunately uh, uh, not only are not privileged but are suffering enormously uh, in uh, dramatic situations of, of deprivation. Mm. And, and I know you've travelled very widely to, to refugee camps, often in very remote places, which is where you and HCR works. Is there any one particular situation or personal story that's, that's really kind of moved you? Uh, I remember um, arriving in Dolowado, a, a refugee camp in Ethiopia for Somalis, talking to a lady that had just uh, fled Somalia. And she told me, I've been walking for two weeks uh, to get to a safe place. I had six children, and on the way I lost three. I mean, the level of suffering people can endure, the, the tragedies that we can witness, not, I mean, uh, as, uh, as um, uh, I would say, uh, stories that are told, but real life of real people uh, are something that makes us understand that to work for the refugee cause is, uh, is a must in today's world. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you, High Commissioner. Just in conclusion, if there's any words that you would like to say to our, our, our donors um, in terms of what they've already contributed, but how they can continue supporting you and HCR. I think on behalf of all the refugees that uh, have benefited from your support, uh, that got uh, food, uh, medical assistance, education for their children, shelter, uh, or solutions to their plight that were able to go back home in safety and dignity uh, with your support on behalf of all those refugees. Thank you very much.